Google Analytics team has recently launched their new demo properties for Google Analytics 4. And in this video, we will take a closer look at them. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. One of the cool things in Universal Analytics was the demo property. Anyone with Google Analytics account can get access to it and see the reports with real data. Now that is possible with Google Analytics 4 as well. The GA team has recently made two GA4 properties available to the public. One is for Google Merchandise Store and the other one is for a mobile game called Flooded. Both properties have real data about user interactions, sales and more. And this lets you play around with the reports and see how the data looks there. So let's take a quick overview. Below this video, you will find a link to support.google.com. And once you click that link, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you should keep looking for a link that says access demo account. Click it and then you will get access to Google Analytics demo account. By the way, if you already have access to the Universal Analytics demo property, you don't have to click this link because those two new properties are already in your Google Analytics account. So once you click the link, you will get access to demo account. So this is an account in Google Analytics. And once you click it, you will find three properties. This one is a Universal Analytics property. And these two are the new ones. The first one is related to the mobile app, which is flooded. And then this one is related to the Google Merchandise Store that you can find by going to this URL. First, let's take a look at the Google Merchandise Store GA4 property. So you should click it right here and then you will see a report that might look something like this. Obviously, the data will be different because this data is actually being sent from the real website. So every day and every minute, the data will be a bit different. And now you're free to take a look at all the reports that are right here. Just keep in mind that you got access to this property with read and analyze permission. So this means that you cannot configure new conversions, add new custom dimensions. And also I will soon mention that there is one report missing in the analysis hub. So if you want, you can browse these reports like acquisition reports, engagement reports, monetization reports. For example, we can take a look at e-commerce purchases on this website. These are the actual products that are being sold on that website. So this data is actually real. So this is a really cool benefit if we talk about this demo account. So if you're not sure how data will look in reports, this is a great example. Then after you take a look at all of these reports, you can go to the analysis hub. So you can click analysis under the explorer section and then go to analysis hub. And here by default, you will find four ready-made reports that you can explore. So for example, you can click right here and see, for example, shopping behavior funnel. This and other three reports cannot be edited, but they serve the purpose of an example. So you can take a look at how a sample report can be configured and what does it look like. But if you want to create your own, that is perfectly fine and you can do that. So first, let's take a look at those four predefined reports in this property. So we have shopping behavior funnel, then we can go back to the list and take a look at other examples. This is mobile paid and direct segment overlap. So this is a different analysis technique that you can do in Google Analytics 4 and you can see how different segments are overlapping. Then we have checkout behavior funnel. Here you can see how many users entered the checkout. Then you can see how many people entered the billing and shipping step and how many made the purchase. And here you can see the breakdown based on the device type. And the final predefined report in the analysis hub is the behavior flow path, which is using the path analysis technique. And here you can see how visitors are moving from one page to another page. But the real value of the analysis hub is the ability to create your own reports and play with the data. So for example, if you want to start a new report, you can just click on this button right here, or you can select a particular technique, for example, exploration reports. And here you can select segments, dimensions, metrics. You can select the visualization type. You can select the technique. You can select all the other stuff. But in this quick video, I will not have enough time to show you how to actually use this report. So let's leave this for the future. Right now, you can just play around on your own. Also, there is one more thing that I wanted to mention is that if you compare this property with your property, and I'm talking specifically about Analysis Hub, is that in this property, you will not find the user explorer report. And that is mainly done because of the user privacy. As far as I understand, Google's team just did not want to share the possibility to check every individual user of their website. 
But if you want to do that on your own account, and I mean on your own GA4 property, you can definitely use the user explorer report as well. Then we can go to another property, which is for the mobile game, which is flooded. So this property is getting data from three places. One is Android app, then the other one is iOS app, and then the third stream is from the website of flooded. And in fact, we can see all those three streams. If we go to the admin data streams, and here you will see all three data streams. Speaking of the reporting capabilities, by default, this looks pretty much similar as it was with the previous Google Analytics 4 property, which was for the merchandise store. However, in this property, you can switch from reporting to games reporting, and then you will see that some reports are a bit different. For example, there's a thing called buyer heartbeat, and also you can switch to Firebase reporting. So these are not available in the Google merchandise store property. Then if you go to home of any of these new Google Analytics 4 demo properties, you can scroll down and then you will see the insights widget right here. You can click on it and then you will see various automated insights that were provided by Google Analytics 4. Here you can click on any of these insights to get more information like this. And these are just some of the things that you can find in these two demo properties. So I highly encourage you to click the link below this video, get access to these demo properties, and then play around with reports and see what kind of features are available in Google Analytics 4. And that was a quick overview of Google Analytics 4 demo properties. This is a really cool thing if you want to play around with different reports in GA4, or if you want to show to others how they look. Also keep in mind that there are some limitations. For example, you cannot change the configuration of the property or you cannot use the user explorer reports. But despite that, demo properties are definitely a welcome addition to GA4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on the channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.